Wow. Look at this, man. It's come a long way. Kakariko Village is practically almost done. It looks pretty dang awesome. Like, just the simple trees here and the background walls, it really does a lot to the whole place. But not only that, we have also finished the chicken side quest, I guess you could call it. So, I don't know if this is how it always has been. I don't think it has, so I'm just going to keep it how it is. The names are showing on the cuckoos. Which, even though it has custom name visible to zero, it's still showing it. But, even if they don't change it to what it used to be, or if it was ever anything different to begin with, I'm still okay with it saying like, the number of cuckoo that they are. But either way, we can throw them in the pen, and my mouse just died. <laughs> So, it says capture six more, we're just going to keep going with this. You go near them and they go up onto your head, and you can throw them into the pit cage by holding shift. Usually it works. Uh, where are you? Come on. Ugh, sometimes it has a little bit of trouble, because sometimes the chicken isn't facing where you are. There we go, that time he was facing the right way. Even though it does have you him teleporting in your direction no matter what, sometimes it's still a little messed up, but it's nothing too bad. It should be fine. So five more. The other thing that you can do with the cuckoos is fly or float. So now you can float down to certain areas to go to other places. And this, it's usually to get to this cuckoo over here. This is really difficult to do without a mouse. Alright, I don't remember what we were talking about, but I got my mouse fixed. But yeah, so now you can jump over to this cuckoo over here, from over here, well... Yep, looks like we just barely made it, or you can do it from here. But yeah, can't pick up more than one, of course. Though there is kind of a bit of a cheat if you put them in the same place. You can pick up both of them. But there's not really too much of consequence for it if you do, so I think I'll just leave it like that. The other problem with it is I don't really know how to refrain it from going through walls. Why are the cuckoos so weird? There we go. Yeah, so you can kind of go through the walls by accident. And I tried to make it so that you could hurt them enough and then they'd attack you, but you can't really change their health to more than four, so you could just instant kill it, and then it's like, well, now what? I might later do a thing where if you kill it, it'll send a bunch after you, and then you just have to leave, like, go into one of the houses and then come back for them to all be reset. But we'll see. For now, we just have a working quest for once, and that's pretty cool. Definitely makes things feel a lot more finished. A new mechanic. <laughs> so, I guess I'll start from the beginning. We have the guards over here. Not here. We have the guards at the castle. And they're, they're not the only things that have this issue. Pretty much any NPC that moves around at all. There's just so many command blocks and so many repeaters, especially. These are what makes the whole world lag and to have the tick speed slow down so much. So, I'm trying to find a faster and more better solution, I suppose. Because while it does work, as you're about to see, it's not only really not good looking, but it's also very slow. I'm pretty sure this guy should be moving a lot faster than he is as well as a lot of the other guys. So, that's what I'm currently trying to figure out how to fix. And it's kind of tricky. <laughs> yeah, just from going over there, you can tell it's already a lot more choppy since when the first time we were here. So, now it's back to smooth. Probably means that place unloaded then. Um... Jesus, that guy's going pretty fast. But yeah, the two problems I'm having with this is, as you can tell, he's not getting right 
on the block, like in the middle of it. He's moving as soon as he's over it enough. So I'm trying to figure out how to fix that, and then I'm trying to figure out how to make it so that he stops for a bit. Because if you just get rid of it, he keeps going. But otherwise, it works just fine, and all it requires is 8 command blocks. It seems like the easiest solution always falls back on repeaters. It's working. So... He stops, and then he starts moving again, and depending on how long this is between is when he'll start moving again. So this right here has to always stay the same because this is what makes him stop directly over this one. And yeah, you could make it last a little bit longer. He'll be a little bit more. I'm deciding which one I like better. I don't know if I like that one or him being a little bit before. I still need to find a different way other than repeaters though, so it won't be it won't really matter. I'll figure out something though. This has to be a no repeater option. That's my goal here. And albeit it is difficult, it will help a lot. How much you want about this is gonna work the first time. We'll see. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. Maybe, maybe, I need to change the timing for it, but that might actually work. No, what are you doing? Go, come back. Round three. Huh? Huh? <gasps> Dang. Okay. That looked like it worked pretty well. Except it's not doing it anymore, is it? Oh, I think I have the solution to that. I guess I can only set it to zero. Where are you going? <laughs> Alright, hopefully this is the last thing that was the problem. Oh, come on! <laughs> now, let's see how it goes. And... Yup, okay. Now if it does it again then I think we're good. Huh, he was a little bit earlier that time too. And that did a thing. Yeah, now we just have to make sure that it works for two of them, or as many as we want. Because I'm not sure if, although the timer is working for this one, I don't know if we have a different one doing the same scoreboard. I'm not sure, I'm not too good with scoreboards and stuff. I'm learning a lot about this game like I didn't realize how much I didn't know until just recently so here we go time to do it to the other three sides and then make a second one and see how that one works there is so much I just never learned because I've been figuring all this stuff out by myself but with just a little bit of help from a few people from a like, basically there's this discord server called Minecraft Commands, which helps people figure out like certain commands that they're not sure about. And it's been helping me a lot. Like people have been helping me with a lot of things that I never knew because I basically taught myself everything I know about the commands up to this point. And they're helping me a lot with some things I didn't know about. Like this type of command. Actually just getting the Data, NBT data of a command block in general. I didn't know you could do that. Which the new command is now data merge block, which block you want, and then the NBT tag. You can change it without using a like. I've been filling redstone blocks over commands to make them turn on and off, but you can just use an auto one or zero to turn on always active or not in a command, and that can save a lot of lag. Like this right here. This is completely useless. All I'd have to do is make it so that. This command goes to this block, and it'll turn it to always active or not, and I don't need this redstone block here at all. There's a lot that I don't know about. And I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff to make things run a lot smoother, hopefully. I have made it extremely compact 
compared to what I've normally done before. I'm sure you can make it even more small than this, but this will be plenty fine. And it's most likely the fastest I can do without making any lag here. And this should barely do anything lag-wise to the world, so... Now I just have to do these three, like this for each one, and that'll be how it looks as it would be finished. So here we go. Simple as this, huh? This is all it takes to make a moving NPC. Probably have to put eight of these for eight different of these guys. Meanwhile, all of this, almost all of it, is just not useful at all. It's pointless. These things I'm going to have to make a different device for because this is actually what tests for if you're in a certain area and whether or not it finds you or not. But, you know what? I'm sure doing this will be enough to at least smoothen things up here. Because the main reason I wanted to do this was just to make most of the places that are already starting to get worse and worse a little bit less worse. And from what these do, I don't think it'll be too big of a problem. It's mostly the repeater clocks that are causing the biggest issue. So, yeah. Now the last step is just to start implementing them. Turns out there was one other thing I didn't really do, which was add a... That's not the right block. <laughs> add a uh, height system to it. So we'll go up and down with these types of blocks. I'm curious how well it deals with multiple ones. Let's try it. Let's see how that goes. Bop, bop. Yep. All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, the only problem was we needed to change it to like that. But, yep, it works. Okay. That's it for sure.